Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 The Crescent Bay Saga where we are here with our two Crescent Bay siblings as they do their best to go ahead and try to survive their own magical mischief here in a Moonwood Mills where we are hanging out with our glutton. Oh my gosh, where did she even get like whatever food dye is in those hot dogs? That is terrifying. Like Anya, I think that like, ugh, oh my gosh, I mean Anuga, sorry. I'm still getting used to pronouncing everybody's names. And you got, I really, I really think those hot dogs that you found, um, yeah, they weren't exactly very good, but I don't think she really cares because Anuka happens to eat like a dog since she is indeed a werewolf. And hopefully today we will actually have some time to investigate what it means to be a werewolf. Uh, but we're away from home. We're starting off our morning kind of away from home because Anuka was feeling a little little bit confined, you know, hanging out back at home and her stupid future sister-in-law, Vima Merriweather, that fairy, was actually wide awake and very busy writing all sorts of uh, accounts that Vima here yeah, look at her. Look at her. She says that she's writing reviews for some of the hottest spots in the nearby big city. Uh, but I don't know, with that little smirk, she might be writing some uh, like dating website profiles, if you ask me. But we'll have to see where her work takes her. Oh, she's actually going into work, it seems. Uh, and Stefan should actually be leaving for work pretty soon as well. He is indeed a medical intern and he works in 40 minutes. So he should be skedaddling out of here soon too. Which means that Anuga here is all on her own. And where the heck are we going, Anuga? <laughs> are we really headed back home? Like, okay, you're just going to leave the hot dogs there? I mean, they're probably going to rot, but I don't think you care. <gasps> Wow, you guys, I've not had a chance to really slow down and admire like the mills yet, but it's actually really pretty. Oh, I can hear all the birds singing. Wow, this is actually really pretty. Anuga, I don't know why you're putting up such a fuss about living here, except for the fact that clearly there's like no economy and there's no future for anyone except for crime and maybe a paper mill factory for all I know. Oh, and I'm so sad every time I see this giant tree. And Stefan is, should start thinking about future education. <laughs> oh, that's just rubbing salt in the wound. That he has passed up on the big colleges so that he can go ahead and take care of his sister. Uh, but, oh, what's he eating? Stefan, are you getting something? A fox BLT. A faux, pardon me, BLT, because he is indeed a vegetarian. To balance out his sister eating weird meat from who knows wherever she found it. Oh, jeez. Okay, I randomized their skills to give them a little bit more backstory. Are you, like, really good at cooking, sir? He is very good at cooking. He is level 8 cooking. <gasps> level 10 flower arranging. That's so sweet. Oh, hey, and it's his sister. All right, and Stefan is going to go to his hospital shift. We'll send him alone. Maybe he's kind of, like... He was trying... Oh, he was probably trying to go ahead and make that food for his sister. <laughs> <laughs> so he could leave her with something healthier than like the weird expired meat she finds. But now they're both off to work and to be honest that is exactly the way that uh, Anuga prefers it. Thank you very much. Uh, oh and she even has like her sister-in-law's computer. All right we're totally going to cause some mischief with that really quickly. Let's see, can we go ahead, socialize? Let's troll the forms for just a second and we're gonna say that we're kind of like snooping on her sister-in-law's computer because Anuga is pretty sure that uh, Vima here is up to something. Like what? She doesn't know. Maybe just being a bratty like part fairy jerk, but she's sure she's up to something. But all right, so now that all of that is taken care of, we're probably going to let her go ahead and get some sleep pretty soon. <laughs> Unless we have enough. Do we have enough points or enough money that we can like, do we have enough points for instant energy? Because she would totally do that. We do not. Uh, do we have anything we could do to try to get that? Write a guitar song, go swimming because she's super active. Can we afford to get like a coffee machine real quick? Because I could see her totally raiding her brother's coffee supplies. Let's see. There is indeed a caffeinator that we could go ahead and pop over here. All right, we're going to need to move this plant. I love this plant, though. I'm not going to get rid of this plant. 
You will not find me getting rid of any plant here. Like, who do you think you're hanging out with? It's me. It's Siri. You know I'm not going to get rid of this plant. It's just going to live over in the corner. That's this plantly the ninth. Uh, so it's going to live over there. And, oh, how cute would it be if we were actually able to have, like, a little cauldron in the house because, oh, Stefan is indeed a warlock. And I do want to interact quite a bit with that. But right now he is a very busy warlock. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to get the Magnificent Tea Brewer in a fancy color. Pink. Ha! Huh, I like the idea. I actually like the idea that Vima really likes cutely colored things and so we're gonna go with like pink colors and there's nothing wrong with liking pink and there's nothing wrong with Vima just she's very young she's 70 for a part fairy that's very very young so she can sometimes be a little treat other people a little immaturely let's go ahead and brew some pitch black coffee because that's like all we can do spending our brother's money here Oof. And sorry about the lag. I think it's just like freaking out because the game's like, oh, I'm trying to do new things. Werewolves. That's what you're asking of me now. But indeed, we are trolling the forms. And then let's see what the coffee has to offer. Oh, jeez. One sec. All right, there we go. Fixed it. Don't mind that. It's just The Sims 4 freaking out because I think it's trying to generate eight million little townies in their ridiculous outfits. Uh, but there we go. So I'm hoping... Oh, jeez, I thought that was like my real team maker. That really surprised me. Uh, but I am hoping that we will be able to investigate a little bit of what Anuga can do when it comes to her werewolfness. And I don't know if that involves like building up her fury or if we just need to start building up some of her other traits by doing like werewolf things like her ferocity, which I think would be fun to use maybe on some Sims later tonight to try to spook up some profit, especially because I like the idea that she just spent all of her brother's money because now we're like at bottom barrels. So it's kind of like this war between Vima, his fiance, and then Anuga, his younger sister, for Stefan having everybody spending all of their money so that they can't really get out of this podunk town because <laughs> everyone's spending all the money uh, but scavenger let's actually see if anuga can dig up some things to scavenge because i think that sounds like a lot of fun and i'd be interested in seeing how we could kind of build up our abilities especially if it involves going from pup to runt by falling in with some of the other werewolves around so it'll be oh, a bunch of people over here they're all just straight up werewolves in the middle of the day. What? Okay. They all look super peaceful. So my headcanon is saying that all of these, there's an elder here. There's a young adult here. There's an adult. I'm just going to go ahead and say that all these guys are really laid back and they're the peaceful group who don't really want to have anything to do with the pack. And they've always kind of held back from Anuga because she has her anger like issues. Apparently there's wax and faux meat cubes hanging over here and a white pumpkin, sweet mint plant. There is a red pepper bell uh, bush, a pale uh, orange pumpkin. A lot of these are my modded plants, which is interesting to see. And then roses and blue uh, bluebells, but it doesn't look like they're doing a very good job of growing any of them. <laughs> but maybe we'll have a new guy hang out with them if it means we can get some more traits. But first things first, uh, let's run to the restroom. Savage poo smash. Okay, Anuga, if you wreck the only, is that the only toilet we have in like the whole house? Anuga, if you literally wreck the only toilet in the whole house, I might have to have some words. Oh, cool. I shrunk down the light that is actually right over here. It's from uh, Realm of Magic and I wanted to use it in the extremely over the top bedroom that we have for Vima and we have for Stefan. So I shrunk it down and it looks like the light stayed there. But that actually really fits their aesthetic of having like a very witchy bedroom. Oh, it's really cute in here. And look at this. I found the new item with the awesome. This is actually a decorative item. I was hoping it was going to be a collectible. And I think there are indeed some new collectibles. But this is one of the new items that you can have as a moonstone piece, which I love. You can set the color. Ooh, that would be fun to play with. All right. No, don't go to sleep. We're going to come out and let's go digging in the garden because I'm going to see if we can maybe find. So let's scavenge the ground. 
I want to see if we can take our very focused Anuga and maybe we can say she finds those old journals of her family because their family lineage was a very powerful and proud werewolf pack for a very long time until Anuga's mom kind of split from the pack and married a warlock. As I mentioned in the first episode, that caused a huge schism where actually Anuga's uncle ended up trying to take over control of the pack and to kill like her mom and her dad uh, to really he was not a good guy, very violent, and it was really to try to prove that he needed to revive the pure-bloodedness of the werewolves. And thankfully he died, but still. Oh yes, okay! So by scavenging over there, it looks like we do- this is so cute to watch her just like dig like a little pup. It looks like we do actually have some of her werewolf skill being stacked up as we do this, which is wonderful. So we'll have her dig around. Oh, what did we find? We found something while scavenging. One mooncaster pot shard turning. What? Oh, it looks like, uh, no, I don't want to go to the lounge. I don't, oh, that's, we do know a few new people, and this is actually part of the gang that just moved in. Um, there's quite a big gang with Jonathan Stewart here, kleptomaniac, materialistic genius, romantic and ambitious, his fiance, uh, like Talitha. Then we have Edna and Garrett, who are two kind of older werewolves. And then Jonathan and Talitha are also werewolves, but they run a gang. We know of them, but we haven't really interacted with them. And we'll have to see if that's just where fate takes us. I have a feeling if Edna is inviting us out somewhere, it's because she wants to go and rob somebody. Uh, and actually, that might be a good excuse to try using our werewolf power. We might need to think about that, you guys. I actually have an idea. Okay, so let's look at this pot shard real quick. The Mooncaster pot shard turning. The engravings on this relic are encrypted with strange symbols. Only werewolves who have experienced a lunar epiphany can decipher it. Oh, and I think we're going up on our skill. Okay, let's scavenge one more time just so I can see. So we need to level up to run, experience a full moon, and read werewolf books to complete this first bit of the lineage. And we are indeed closing in by getting experience. So you know what? Since Edna called us and she said she knew somebody... Ooh, and we found two common upgrade parts. Interesting. I'm just going to sell those because I don't think that Anuga would care. <laughs> But since we uh, got a call from this gang and they said they saw someone famous, I kind of like the idea that let's go ahead and we're going to travel with Edna, Stewart, and Garrett. Uh, and we're actually going to pick this crew up and they're, we're going to say that they basically called her and we're like, hey, we saw some easy marks. And, you know, no one's home, so let's go over to the Moonwood Mill Library and maybe see what's going on. Or maybe the Grimtooth Bar and Bunker. Hmm. The library. We'll go to the library. And maybe there's some out-of-towners doing some, like, Instagram photo shoots at the old abandoned factory turned library. And they make perfect marks to go ahead and try to steal from. Plus, this might give us a chance to go ahead. Let's meet Edna. Oh, whoa, and Vima has been promoted. <laughs> All right, so Vima's getting promoted at her uh, critic job. We'll deal with her later. Maybe a good time that we left. Uh, and then we can challenge to tug of war. Transformation mastery required. And we could spar. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's come over and maybe like lie about career to kind of be like, All right, where's that mark that you guys said was here? And then let's try being ferocious with the sim. Because I like the idea that maybe just in time Edna was like, yeah, there he comes. Arundita. Looks like he's got a lot of money. All right, let's try again. All right, lie about career to Edna. See? He looks like an outer towner if I ever saw one. Lost, jug ears, confused. Let's ferociously intimidate. Oh, he actually looks like a reporter. It looked like he was writing down something about the information about the mill. So let's come over and we'll see what we can do with this ferocious intimidation. 
Oh, she really can just like come up and yell at somebody. Oh, but she gets points for that. Do you drop any money? He's running for it. All right, let's try again. That was kind of fun. Is he gonna run from us? Ah, oh, man, all right, so we lost the mark. And I don't think he dropped any money. However, there is another sim over here, Leila, who we recognize. I haven't replaced the townies, so I totally recognize her from some of our Sims adventures, but in uh, Sulani. But we're just gonna pretend it's fresh alternative universe. Aw, now the nice guys showed up. So now that the nice werewolves have showed up, I feel like they would kind of try to pull her, pull her in and be like, you shouldn't be doing that. Like, I'm pretty sure, especially because Wolfgang, everyone's like, I don't know, why is he wearing a fursuit or something? Uh, but I'm pretty sure that because Wolfgang is actually, we'll sniff and introduce, like, out as a werewolf. We're just gonna say he tries to make peace with everybody in town. Yeah, look at her run away. That's so cool. So we'll go ahead and introduce ourselves. Because I think he would encourage us like, what are you doing? You really shouldn't be like chasing after the locals like that. Hmm, should we do maybe ask about career? Like, yeah, but how is a young werewolf supposed to make their way in the world if it's not by like chasing people around, huh? And then, oh, we've learned he's the librarian! <gasps> no wonder he wants to go ahead and, like, defend everybody here. Oh my gosh, I think that would actually give us a sense of curiosity. I'm sure that Inuga has lived her whole, li her whole life, so she knows Wolfgang already, but they've never really interacted. And it looks like Edna even wants to try to be peaceful at the library. Oh, wow! Oh, and we've learned that he's creative. All right. So he actually seems super friendly. And I feel like, I feel like Anuga's like, oh, fine. And maybe I won't go ahead and scare your stupid out of towners. Whatever. Uh, can I get any more werewolfness from all of this though? Here. All right. Let's come over and we're going to scavenge over here to try to get a little more werewolfness. Oh, and let's check out the library. Like what is going on in here? So this is the library that came with the stuff pack or whatever the heck this thing is kit stuff pack who knows oh i like the walls what that's so cool i didn't know that that archway was going to be added in were we able to dig anything up all right let's do some more scavenging we won't scare the locals anymore now that wolfgang showed up oh yeah look at those cool windows you guys wow this is pretty neat you can see straight into the bathroom but whatever I wonder if we might actually find some of the books about werewolves here. Can we, we can scratch, oh my gosh. Can we read, hmm, beyond big and bad, rethinking harmful werewolf stereotypes. Oh, the werewolf who came in from the cold, a Wolfgang Mulder, a page turning mystery about a lone werewolf on the hunt for answers. The wolf next door, also by Wolfgang Murder, Mulder, Things heat up fast for Ginger when she meets the mysterious werewolf next door. It's not long before she feels the moon's pull. And then Peter Parker's first moon. It's a children's werewolf book. Oh my gosh. Huh. What about over here? Is there a werewolf book to read or are they all the same? Interesting. I like these new little tiny desks that have been added in as well. Oh, and there's like a gym. It's kind of like a half outdoor gym good place to try to go ahead and get some of your aggression down we'll scavenge a couple more times because why not i was hoping this would kind of be like realm of magic where if you search around you could find the werewolf books without having to buy them but since we met the librarian here which i did not know was going to happen oh and you can do some sky gazing all the way up here that's cute i feel like there should be a chair so if you just wanted to like kick back up here and get out of everybody's way you totally could uh in fact we might make that happen <laughs> oh there are chairs like down here but i feel like anuga really likes to be completely alone uh but let's search these stacks just in case yeah they're all just the generic same ones but Ooh, are we feeling fury oh interesting so i wonder what happens when we get to full fury here we'll scare one more guy even though we said we wouldn't but like nobody's watching 
And this guy seems to be criticizing how we smell. No wonder. <gasps> he dropped, oh my gosh, 400 samoles. Harris, she scared him so bad he dropped his wallet and she got 400 samoles. Okay, she would totally spend that on something that she wanted. But we're going to come in and then I'm going to go ahead and we'll get her the first of the books that we need to really start scooching things along here. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find emotional homework textbooks. <sighs> All right, I think maybe they would be technically skill. So that's writing, wellness, rock climbing, research, piano. No, okay, maybe what on earth would they even be categorized as writing? When Which Witch Bewitched the Witch by Professor Toot. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now, let's see. Villainy. The University Course Book. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm tempted to like take that one out, but I don't think we've gone quite that far. How do you find the werewolf books? Because I could have sworn I have seen them when I was reading books with her brother a little bit ago. There's Research and Debate, The Private Journals. Piano, parenting, mixology, mischief. Let's see, mastering skiing, logic, language, herbalism, history, guitar, gourmet food, gardening, flower arranging, fitness, fishing, fine arts, fabrication. This is just going to make her eyes cross. Dusk glow, shadow moon. Darla is set to wed her bad boy vampire when a conflict erupts between werewolves and vampires. Oh my gosh. <laughs> With her nice boy werewolf ready to join in the fray, eruptions erupt and one kiss changes it all. Read as she goes back and forth and back and forth again on who she actually likes. Her selection will leave you howling with delight. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to slip that in. Oh my gosh, there's a whole series. <laughs> oh, here we're going to say that like she's so embarrassed, she just grabs like, you know, the last of the series off cuz she's too embarrassed to spend time like figuring out which one's supposed to be which. Um and we'll yoink that home. Adventures. Those are the comic books, which I also think she would love and that she would have fun reading. A world without magic. They're supposed to be werewolf books, but I wonder if these are kind of rare. I'm gonna just double check really quickly. We'll grab we'll grab a couple others while we're here if we need to. Cause I could have sworn I saw them, but maybe maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see. Mastering fitness, love in the time of sandwiches. Maybe I saw like the Dark Moon series and I was like, oh, clearly that's how you learn how to be a werewolf. Imagine my surprise. Fanged friends forever. Hmm. Because it makes me think that I may have seen like the Dusk Moon and I was like, oh, that's it. And it's actually like a romance book. I, I love that I would have totally taken that home myself. <laughs> And then just been like completely surprised. In fact, here, we're going to go ahead and give Beyond Big and Bad Rethinking Harmful Werewolf Stereotypes because we're going to say that the were or the um the werewolf librarian gave it to her and was like, look, you're better than this. And we'll grab Adventures of Vulpes because she totally would read, totally would read some comics. But okay, that's actually, oh, we have a new ability point. Yes. But we, we can't unlock some of the cool next stuff and I don't even know how to use it yet. We'll have to, I'm gonna save the ability point. Uh, but how do we unlock the books? Hmm, important to understand, to understand how to be a werewolf. But where do the books lie? Huh, we'll have to figure it out. Also, she's getting angry again. All right, maybe time to go home. We'll scavenge like one more time. I like the idea and that we also got a ton of money too. So let's go home and we'll spend 400 smacks on something just for Anuga. Oh, well, excuse you lady. And this lady is yelling at us about like digging a hole. Like, look, they clearly have a problem with us. It is not Anuga's fault that everybody needs to be spooked and scared just because they're being jerks. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna do another ferocious introduction. Then we'll go home and we'll buy something fitting. At least we're not scaring the patrons inside of the library, but you insult Anuga to her face, you get the rar. 
<laughs> She's so tired. Oh my gosh. Here, we need to roar at one more person. Because I forgot to take a picture of it. Oh, she's so f just like, look at her. Look at her. She's letting it out her inner beast in the wrong way. And I feel like it's just making the other more peaceful werewolves in the area need to go ahead and, and try to rein her in a little bit. All right, now that that is done. Ooh, another 400, that's 800. Why would you bother? Why would you bother going ahead? Let's go home. It's just going to be us. But why would you follow the straight and narrow when we literally just hung out with some rough, tough werewolves? We kind of roughed up some tourists. Like, whatever. Why are they even in our town? They're just going to, like, commercialize it. And uh, let's give Anuga some 800 smacks worth of something in her little shed. Because I like the idea that, you know, she tries to hide that. Oh, I could even get her the little piggy bank. <laughs> She's trying to save money so she can go to Del Sol Valley to meet Jean Jewel in person. None, no one else other than Jean Jewel himself, you know? Uh, I really... Oh, oh, there's a jar full of fireflies now? <gasps> I haven't played with the, the new pack yet, and that sounds so absolutely freaking precious. I haven't played with the little kids pack, which I really think is perfect for Jean and Fern's future children. And though, if Jean and Fern have future children, remains to be seen if Anuga has anything to say about it. But let's actually see if there's something we can kind of store our money in with the werewolf pack. You apparently unlock different items when you go up the rankings. Oh, when you go up the rankings in the different packs? <gasps> We're gonna have to investigate that. Oh, there is a Fungus Among Us a new item that I enjoy as well. And this is where you can store collectibles, by the way. It is a Moonwood Relic Display. Just scavenged up a little piece of local history, fished a Prysic Relic out of a glowing mag uh, magic moon lake? Well, you're in luck. This is the spot for your wolfy little TikToks. As your collection grows, you'll notice that certain relics seem to fit extra well into certain spots. Perhaps they have a larger story to tell, to tell, and then you can come to an epiphany. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, you know what? I think we do need to find the piggy bank and the money that we steal from people. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hide in this money jar. <laughs> that Anuga is going to be definitely keeping a secret from her brother and, of course, her terrible, no good, like, awful sister-in-law. Uh, I think I actually need to put it in a place that she can access it if we're going to be able to, like, load this sucker up. Well, let's try it out. Okay. This is a amazing money jar from none other than Rava Sheen, by the way. Highly recommended all of her mods and her wonderful Patreon. Let's put in, basically, let's put in like 8.30 and we'll say that was what we had. Yeah, we're gonna need to be able to walk over to it. But not bad for a first full day of kind of thieving, perhaps? Uh, and now we come back around and we have got lovely Vima back home and perhaps flirting on the internet with who knows who, wanting to go on a couple dates pretty soon, and needing to write a column about who knows what. Yes! All right, and we have indeed stored the money out of the way, so we'll have her write a column, which will work on her fame, and Anuga is done. So look at how guilty she looks, <laughs> kind of glancing over her shoulder, like knowing that she has hidden away some of the, the ill-gotten gains. Okay, that's actually freaking awesome. Anuga, you are really, like, I'm I'm totally here for you. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna let Anuga go ahead and actually, like, have a bath. She's going to have to hear so much from her future freaking sister-in-law, the fairy, about how much she stinks, like a dog, no doubt, because they just do not get along. Uh, but... <laughs> Hopefully we can continue to rise up the ranks. I think we're getting really close to the rank of Runt and we'll just keep pushing that a little bit and maybe investigating what it means to potentially be a part of a werewolf pack. It looks like there are only two you can pick from no matter what. 
And then we'll carry on with exploring more of what Anuga can potentially do with her powers, as well as trying to do our best to help poor Stefan be able to really, oh, be, attend an active workday at the doctor career venue. Oh. <laughs> and we also need to help Stefan hopefully get promoted because being able to become a doctor is actually going to be very important if we are going to uh, go ahead and if we're going to really bring him into the story of our green family legacy. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for whoever you're cheering for at this stage. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Where on earth are you going, Stefan?